Hello, you guys. <laughs> Different spot today. I am in our spare bedroom that Mr. Fiber and Irie did. I mean, let's be honest. Mr. Fiber did the work. I just did the decorating. <laughs> so anyway, we um, I, I w wanted to go through the stuff that I have made and show you what I'm doing to store them. Recently, I was in a live with Dee's Creative Hands, and she was showing her makes, and she had a rack, and she had so many of her makes that she saved for her. And I didn't, I don't save that much stuff for myself. But what I do have is in this room. So I thought I would bring you guys with me as I reorganize and explain to you how I am storing my makes. Okay, so come back and let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Okay, just a quick little look around the room. As some of you know, recently moved my dad here from Colorado, and I did bring home a few things that my mama had painted. This is one of those. I used to have one of these above my fireplace years ago. Now I have hers. It's a scene that she painted. And then over here I have one of the clocks that she painted right there so I have that there's mama there's mr. fiber and I I'm now the keeper of the photos there are my audio books books on CDs more books and this is all my crime books This is a fireplace type screen that Mama painted. I have another picture that I'm going to put here. I haven't brought it home. It's stored at Dad's right now. This bed is the one we got when the grandsons were here. There is a trundle under there that pulls out. That is Mr. Fiber's mother's sewing table. That is her sewing machine underneath, and then my sewing machine is inside of it. That's the Tunisian blanket that my mama made. Let's see, mama painted this patriotic one. Oh, we got some glare. Sorry about that. There we go, right there. So, this dresser is where I'm putting my makes, my finishes. I do have a few of them in this closet, so I will be getting in there also. And then these are the quilts that my mother-in-law made. And the one on the bed is also. Now, I don't know the names of them. So, y'all are welcome to tell me in the comments what the names of these patterns are, because I don't know. But there are her quilts. 
Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I do keep over here, as you saw on top, I keep the hat that I wear most of the time outside. This is the one that I knit doing the stockinette with the garter ridges. I've done several of these hats. I just rent, recently sent some of them to K and K Crochet for the. It, I'll try to leave the the video for that down below. I shared it just recently, but it's a. It's a it's a nonprofit that they are making things for, and I I can't remember what it's called. Treehouse something I think. Anyway, I keep that hat over here. And then let me turn you, hold on. In this closet here, this is my shoes and stuff. I keep an extra basket. I got this on Timu. This is for laundry. And this is when guests come, they have a place to put their laundry. And then when I take stuff out of my closet and I take the hangers off, I put the hangers in here and then when I go to, to do my laundry, then I gather up all the hangers. But this is coats and shoes. Here's my hat for when I walk. This is the hat that I got from my friend Patty. She and I went to school together. She was our mascot overseas. So I have that hat. And see, I have a basket in here with stuff. This is the hat that I got from Edie. Edie made this hat in Colorado. So there's that one. This was a hat made by a friend of mine. Um, gosh, years and years ago. This is the one that Cheryl made for me. This is her, her stitch pattern that she came up with. Cheryl is Vixen Purple Crochet and More. Then I have my mitts that I made. We did these on the channel, if you remember, where I knit this and then I showed you how to crochet the thumb hole. And then I have like other gloves and I have earmuff things in here. So that is what is in that closet. Now I want to show you what's in this closet. This one is the closet where I keep all of my clothes. This is a very old house so storage is really at an issue. <laughs> In this house, there really aren't that many closets. There's one in this bedroom, there's one in the next bedroom, and there's one, we have one in the hallway from the away from the kitchen, which is a pantry. There's one in the, the little, in the music room. That's it. It's literally all of the closets. So, you know, you have to try to find a place to put them and Mr. Fiber's clothes are in the one that's in. I'm wearing my brace. I have not told y'all about that. This is a brace that I wear when my back is bothering me and my back is bothering me. It is by Muller. I will try to leave a link down below. You can get it at Walmart. Um, this works really well for curvy girls. So I will leave you a link. But I was just adjusting that because when I move around I have to readjust my brace. So this is my closet. I have Mr. Fiber installed a light and I was asking him if I could put a shelf in here but there is not enough room above my top um, rack to put, I mean I wouldn't be able to get on it. I wouldn't be able to get to it to get stuff off of it. There's room down below, but I have the boys' toys for when they visit. I have their, their toys down there. So I have 
pants and stuff on the bottom and then shirts and stuff on the top. And yes, I color code my shirts. So I have my black, my gray, my pink and red, my purple, my teal. And look, fluffy girls wear a lot of black. <laughs> but I have a couple of things in here. I have my set of top. My set of top is here because it can be hung on these hangers and not get messed up. So my set of top is in here. And then that pink top that I made has the same type of, of um, arm at the top, the shoulders. So these two can be hung in my closet. And I think that's it. Let me check. Oh, I have one other one in here. This one is a cover up. This one was made by, oh, I'm going to have to remember her channel name. I do not remember her channel name, but I bought it from her. It's a cover up. And if I, I'm trying to decide, I will probably start doing this with some things where I put them on the hangers this way, if they will go here because, and if they're not too heavy, if they're too heavy, I don't want to do this because then it's going to pull. I have one more that I cannot... I don't see it right now. I have one more thing somewhere. And it's my lacy mint poncho. It must be in the drawer. Now I have stuff in this. And it's okay, but I really need to rearrange it. I have one drawer that's empty and I've been leaving one drawer empty for those that come and visit but honestly they live out of their suitcases when they're here so I now have another drawer where I can put makes so I want to rearrange everything so I'm going to take everything out and put it on the bed I'm going to take out everything uh no hats on the bed, y'all. That's a thing from in my family, okay? In my family, I grew up from my grandfather down. Hi, Serbs. Hi, boobies. Hi. Where did your mommy go? You was just a sleeping. <laughs> hmm? Hey, come here. Come here. So you was just a sleeping? And then her was gone. I know. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm doing something right now. Is that okay? Come kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You could go lay on the couch. Okay. Doggy intermission. <laughs> oh, there's my lacy mint poncho. Okay. I'm just going to put it all out here and then I'm going to show it to you guys. There's my pile of stuff that I have made. Now again, you've seen some of it in my closet, but the majority of everything that I have kept, that I have made for myself is here. There is a few things that are in my she shed, but there we go. Now let's see what's here. Okay, are you ready to see all of this? You guys have seen it before, but I still want to show you 
because you may not know the things that I kept. There was a lot of stuff that I donated towards the end of last year to Warm Up America. And I will tell you that I was so excited because I follow them everywhere. And I found several things that I have made in the pictures going out to people. It was amazing to know that, and including some of the things that subscribers to my channel have made, a lot of those squares um, that I was not going to be able to use that you guys made, I sent to Warm Up America, and I saw them in blankets, in, in buckets that they were ready to go, and they went out to people who put the blankets together, and then I saw the blankets. So I know that Warm Up America, they deliver all the stuff. They, they find a place. The things that, they're, that are not really on their, their list that are a little bit like one-offs, maybe a shawl or something, um, they take things and they go to like parks and stuff like that where they know that there are people who need them, especially during the cold months. And they lay them out on a table and people come in and pick what they want. Or they will put them on a fence. They will pin them to a fence and they will put a note, I'm yours, take me home. So it's awesome to see that happen. <laughs> Serbs is in here now. <laughs> We're not in the she shed anymore. That is actually my first cup of coffee of the day. It is morning, so my eyes aren't quite awake yet. <laughs> okay. I want to start with this and show you this. This is an, a beautiful sweater that my mama made me. It is very long. Can you see how long that is? It's very long, it's very squishy. It has this cowl type neckline and it has the long sleeves and then it has, and, and this yarn, I don't know where she got this yarn, but it's very scratchy. And I have washed this sweater several times and it's still very scratchy. So I know this is an older yarn, but I don't know how she knew that I would love this color forever, <laughs> but yeah, she made me another sweater that I wish I had kept, but I don't know what happened to it. I have moved, I've been married three times and I have moved more times than I can count. So I don't know what happened to that sweater and it was what I called my feel good sweater. And that is why I made sweaters for both of my girls and I still have another one to finish. But here is that. This is knit. Now this was in the bottom drawer and I believe that is where I'm going to put it again because that bottom drawer is um, deeper, is one of the deeper drawers. I'm gonna slide that over there and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have another sweater. <clears throat> this is the one that I made from the Crochet World magazine. I am very proud of this sweater. I love this sweater. I actually am tickled to death that I made something for myself. I wore this the other day when Mr. Fiber and I went to breakfast. But I think I'm going to go back and put something here along this edge. The pattern did not call for that, and that's why it's not on here. But the, the edge of this is just does not sit like I want it to. So I'll probably go back and do that. But I'm going to put this sweater down in the bottom with the other sweater. And someday I'll get to it. 
you know, around to it. Anybody else had round to it? Okay, any other? All right, now I have ponchos. I have one, two, three, I have three ponchos. So this is the Lacy Mint Poncho. I made a big mistake. I should have washed this by hand. This is that ribbon yarn. I'm very disappointed because this was, you know, still a lot of work. I mean, this is not an, a hard stitch at all, but it, yeah, it shrunk. It did. It, it was much longer. So now it is, it sits like it does not sit down as far as it did before, which is not a problem. It's just a smaller version of itself now. I'm thinking that I could get it wet and block it out again. And I may do that. But this is the Lacy Mint Poncho. And this is the one that sometimes that I will put on a hanger like that, you know, and, and hang in my closet. I like to wear this with um, like a little strapless, not strapless, but like spaghetti strap shirt or a sports bra. That's how I will wear that sometimes. And then this is the one that I made like it. Now that's the Lacy Mint Poncho by Bag O'Day Crochet. I made this one not with that pattern. I just remembered after making some of these that that's kind of how I made it. So I didn't even look at a pattern or a tutorial when I did this one. And this one is done with the crystal cakes. And see the lacy mint poncho, it was this long before I washed it. So I actually, I actually made this one based on that one and this one. This one is the Month of Love Poncho. I have a tutorial for this. I oh, know I really do. I know I don't. I have a playlist for this, and I have a written pattern. The written pattern is on my Kofi, and the playlist is here on my channel. And this is called the Month of Love Poncho. I wear this one a lot. I love this poncho. I will wear this instead of a sweater. I like this much better than that sweater that I made. I haven't gotten to wear, wear the Crystal Cakes one too, too much yet. Um, I need to, to do that. But I, I like this one. And I did go back and put, where is it? Where can you see? Here at the bottom. I did put an armholes right at the bottom. So I sewed it together right down at the, on the, on the bottom of it where the arm would be down here, down low on the down low. <laughs> Month of Love Poncho. I love this thing. This has just been my favorite. My favorite. So I think 
that will be all that will go in that bottom drawer. Okay, let's kind of sort out the rest of this stuff here. This is a shawl. This is a scarf. This is a shawl. This is a scarf. This is a shawl. This is a shawl. This is a shawl. Another shawl. This one is also, I, I guess, yeah, this one's a shawl. Oh, here's a shawl. Cowl, cowl, cowl. These are, that's a cowl. This is a scarf. And that should not have been on the bed. These go together. So these are, these are my cowl, my hat, and that one is Cerberus's scarf. Okay. I do have this shawl in here that I made and I have talked about that. That is my new design that I have not put the pattern out for yet. I came in here, I came in here to get um, a new battery for the camera, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you the shawls that I have in here. So these are the ones that I hang in here because I do wear these pretty often, but I kind of need to I need to put a couple of these away. This one, I'm going to put this one away. This is the Lost in Time shawl. This is the one that is in the pictures, my thumbnail, my, my picture for Fiber Fluzy Crafts. Well, in the intro video, in my picture is something else. So that's another shawl. This one was given to me. Victoria Kid made this one. The Resident Knitter. So there's that one. This is my scarf that I bought. It is a hand dyed scarf by Donna, Crystal Skies Hand Dyed. To keep this one in here because that's easy to throw on. This is a scarf that I made. This one is the Changing Staircases shawl by Donna's granddaughter Tristan of Dragon Horde Yarn. This is the sock blank that I turned into a scarf. It was, was dyed by Amber of Crafty Performers. That's easy to throw on, and I'm going to leave that in here. I like to wear this one quite a bit. This is the Encanto. This is by Crochet Luna. I love that one. And then this is the cowl that I made. See, things have been a little bit crowded on here. Mostly, mainly because I had not sorted all that stuff in the other room. This is the cowl I made. This is the Flame Cowl by Laura of Knit for Brains. And I did it in bisexual colors. So I'm going to keep these here. Yeah. And I will put those away. This is a future hat design. I've got this sitting here so that I need, I need to get this filmed. Here's everything I need to film this tutorial on this hat. I'm calling this the Bee Be Teal Sweet Hat. And I'm going to make it out of this crystal cake. In here I have... Another 
This is the, the Willow Arches, the original Willow Arches shawl. I washed it and blocked it. It made such a big difference. But I have this in here because I'm going to do a video when I finish the pattern for the other one. So here's the situation we have left. Those are the dickies. Back there we have cowls. Here we have a scarf. And the rest of them are shawls. I got a shawl problem, y'all. Okay, let's talk about the dickies first. This is the dickie that I made for the tutorial. That video is like number two on my channel. It's a beginner knit cowl. I will leave a link. It is the number two tutorial on my channel. The number one tutorial on my channel is how to knit the grandma's knit washcloth. And I will link both of those down below for you. But this is it. This is the one I made here on the channel. I had already made several for my mom. Now I had a white one, but it fell apart. It got, it just got dirty. But she used to wear these after her open heart surgery and she used to cover her scars with it when she, and she'd wear them. She'd get too hot to wear a full turtleneck. So she liked to wear these underneath some of her shirts and jackets. So I have, this is the original ones that I made. Here's a black one and then here is a gray one. So yeah, these are, these, these were mamas. I made these for mama. So I think these are going to go in the top shelf. And then I'm going to put the hat and the cowl. This one is this one is Cerberus's. I made one to match. I did take pictures and show you guys. I don't know if I can find that picture of us wearing it. It was hilarious trying to get pictures of us with these on. <laughs> yeah. Pretty hilarious. But I'd like to do more of that. And this is the, the cowl for me. And that's what prompt what prompted me to make one for Cerberus was that one of Chelsea, my daughter, one of her co-workers said, oh my gosh, she should make one of those for Cerberus. And I think it was Shanna. Hi Shanna. It's it's Shannon, but the book was Shanna. <laughs> She's named after the book. Anyway, so I'm gonna put that one in the top drawer also. Now I've got these cowls. This is the one I made for the Golden State Mal, and then I put the liner on the inside of it. And this one, I'm just going to keep this one. I, I will wear it. I need to find the right outfit to wear this with, is what I need to do. This is a thick cowl. It's made with um, brown sheep yarn, bulky, and of course it's my color, but it is extremely warm. It's one, one skein of the bulky. And this was a pattern that was on the shelf at Edie's up in Colorado. She is Woolly Works Knit Shop. And I visited her store several times while Dad lived up there and when I would go visit him. You cut your, your strands or your fringe, you cut that first. And then you make your cowl until you have no more yarn. If you have any pieces left, you can put it in with the fringe at the end. 
So that's, that's how that one is made. And I did not do anything special. There are no special stitches. I just did double crochets and twisted stitches and all kinds of stuff in here. But that's what that one is. But it is super duper warm. So there's that one. And then of course the other one that I, this was my first make for the book club when we were doing Stephen Keogh's book. Um, oh shoot. Murder Investigation Teams. This is the one that I made with the Kiviet yarn, which is the muskox. And Donna's yarn, Crystal Skies Hand Dyed, two different colors, Murder She Wrote, and something else. And I also used a little bit of mohair in here too. So yeah. Oh, this is a dream to wear. I love this cowl. Okay, so these are gonna go in that top drawer too. This, this scarf is the one that I started out to make a second scrappy blanket and wound up turning it into a scarf. And I love this scarf. I wear this one all the time. It is just simple garter stitch where you just knit back and forth, back and forth, making a scrappy. And it wound up, and I did it the other way. I'm making one now, the 52 pickup now, which is which is going across, but this one we did long ways because it was going to be another blanket like Mr. Fiber's scrappy blanket. I just absolutely love this, this scarf. Um, and I most often, believe it or not, I most often wear it like a, like a super scarf, but you can also do this. And I like to do it like that and then leave it out so it's not up here but it's I want I might, might when I make the next one of these I might do this where um, it's long enough to really make like a hood because it's not quite wide enough for it anyway but I love this thing and honestly like I said I like to wear it boho style just down that's my favorite way I'm going to fold this up and it's going to go in the top shelf also. There's the top drawer. Now I still have an empty one here which can house like more hats or scarves or anything like that. And I have two empty to put the shawls and stuff in. And the sweaters are down here in this one. And I still have room for something bulky right here. The shawl situation is very serious. I'm going to count them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have a baker's dozen. I love shawls. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to wear. It's my favorite thing to make. I'm a shawl floozy. Mm hmm. Along with being a fiber floozy, I'm also a shawl floozy. Okay, these three right here are the same shawl. This is the seam double shawl that I did with Chelsea. Um, this was the original, and believe it or not, it's the one I, wore, I wear most often. I do want to show you guys a couple of ways that I style this so that if you want to make it I'm working on getting the pattern printed up I have it almost done 
it, it's in several parts though because we did this as a make along on my channel but I am working on the pattern I just haven't got there with it yet I'm trying to go back on my channel and do um, things that we made during the Stitch and Crime Friday nights and get them written up so you guys can make them. Yeah, it may be a while before they all get done. And then eventually I want to have an ebook for you where it will be one price for with all the patterns. But if you see something that you really like, if I have made something, then please leave me a comment and say, I want that pattern and I will, I will do what I can to get that going. Okay, so this was the first one. Now you start down here and it increases until we get up to here. And it looks like a long tornado. <laughs> and this one I did in scrap pieces of acrylic and cotton and just whatever struck my fancy is what I made this out of. And I think that's why it's my favorite is because I love scrappy stuff. So here it is. This is the scene double. Y'all, it's really kind of hot to be doing this. That's why I did it this morning. Now, recently what I've been doing, I will bring that, put that on, bring it around my shoulder. I'll bring this end around, okay? Then you take this end and you find a holy spot and you pull this through the holy spot. And it holds it in place. How's that? <laughs> That's a little tip for you. <laughs> so there's this one and then there is I'm going to take it off. I cannot hold it. And I will have to let you go while I fold these because there's no way I can get these folded um, on camera. But there's that one. This one was done. Uh, I think this is the one I done. Did I done. I done this in the video. <laughs> this is the one I did with you guys live. And it is done with all yarn from... Donna of Crochet of uh, Crystal Skies hand dyed. Why is my tongue getting tied again? Serb says, Mom, make up your mind. Where are you going to hi? Do you need glass eye? Nickel potty? What? I'm just getting wiggle butt. So that's all I'm getting is wiggle butt. <laughs> but this is all Donna yarn and this is done in worsted weight hand dyed yarn from from Donna and this is the one like I said this one we did together and then this one hi Bubby boy this one I did with her daughter Amber did yarn for me and these are all the colors that she dyed for me so we started with this one which is fiber floozy this is Oblossomus, this is She Shed Shenanigans, and this one is Gammy's Jeans. And so this is very special to me because this is in all of the colors that Amber dyed for me. So that's those three. We're nearly there. <laughs> okay, this is a smaller shawl. This is full size. This is this is a little lighter weight. This is the a wrap. Okay, this is the pashmina wrap that I made. This is a little bit bigger and bulkier. God, I love this thing. This thing is amazing. I haven't made the the other ones yet, but I have two more of these planned. I have I'm going to make a purple one and I'm going to make a pink one. And then I found two more of the Ogos in my closet. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this one up and I will put this in with those other three. This one is a full size. This is full size. 
I'm trying to kind of figure out which ones, this one's a little bit heavier. Those three are heavier. Hmm. This one's heavier. These are very lightweight, all of these. So I think that, oh, come back here. I think these will go together. This one I made, this was the Kelsey, the Kelsey shawl. I don't think I have this written up. It's not a hard thing to do. I started with a certain number of stitches down here at the bottom and it's done in garter stitch. And I just increased on either side until it was the size that I liked. So here's the shape of it, see? Yeah. No, I started at the top. I made it the, the, way, the way around as far as how long I wanted it around. Yeah, that's what I did. And then I decreased down to that little step. So this is the Kelsey wrap. And this is done in all wool. Uh, I did another version that I took out because I didn't like it. It was long on one side and short on the other. That didn't work out. Okay, this one is a little heavier, so I'm gonna put this one in there. Okay, this is the one that I won during a live, it was made by Marie Chavez. I love it, I love the color. She whipped this out and nothing flat, y'all. But this is a little bit heavier also. I like it, but. Oops. It is on the heavier side. So I'm gonna put it in this drawer also. I'm going to show you real quickly how I fold that. Take the long, two longest ends, make a smaller triangle. Then we'll fold that end in. No, then I fold it in half. Then I fold this in. So one of the long ones up to the tip. And the other one up to the tip, which turns it into a square. So there is the drawer with all of those in there. Now I'm gonna run through these last ones really quickly because I'm running out of battery again. I got this shawl from Jan Carruthers. I bought this off of her Etsy shop years ago. I brought this in here, this is that Lost in Time shawl. This was a make along with Christy of Crochet Creations by Christy. And this one is the um, Hengetsu by Randy of Randy's Ramblin, Ramblings, Random Ramblings. Yeah, the Hengetsu. This is the Life Changes by Laura of, I, I forget her channel. This one is the Stephen, the one I completed. <laughs> the Stephen West, this is the Vertices Unite and this is the Small. This is the one that Victoria sent me that she made for me. And then this is the Changing Staircases by Tristan. And this one is made using my very first hand dyed yarn that I ever bought from Arkansas Yarn Co. And I love this one too. This one can be worn like a kerchief Okay, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these folded. I, ha I will have 
one more drawer left over there that I can use. And then I'm gonna put in here some footage for you. Well, if you haven't already seen it, I'm gonna put it in there. But the bunny cabinet that my mom painted, I'm gonna add, that's where I will have some extra storage. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this, y'all. I love you, have fun today, and I will see you so, so have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. My tongue just doesn't wanna work. <laughs> Bye everybody.